Copilot in Outlook is top 3 Copilot application used by business users globally. If you want to start to use your AI assistant across Microsoft 365, Outlook will be one of the first application when probably you will try it. In this video we will drill down across capabilities that Copilot offers to you in the area of responding, creating the emails or also analyzing your communication across Microsoft Outlook using AI. If you want to learn more about Copilot, check the course Be Copilot Ready that is available for free where you will be able to prepare yourself and your organization for generative AI tools. And also, if you would like to get to know about the new videos, please subscribe to this channel. If you like it, leave the thumbs up. And if you will have any additional questions, please feel free to use the comment section. And before we will move forward, just a few technical informations to prepare you to use Copilot in Microsoft Outlook. So first of all, you need to be aware that to use Copilot in Outlook, you will need to own Copilot for Microsoft 365 licenses. Moreover, today Copilot supports new Outlook application with all these capabilities. If you're using classic, let's say old Outlook app, there is good chance that Copilot will be not visible there. The application is on the roadmap, so soon Microsoft will also provide Copilot capabilities in the classic Outlook application, but there is good chance that it is not still available in your Microsoft 365 environment. One more important comment, if you will enable Copilot in your organization, there is small chance that it will not appear in your Outlook application. It could be connected with the fact that not all languages are supported. If you're using your local language version of the Outlook and Copilot does not support it yet, there is unfortunately the chance that it will not appear. You will need to switch the language of your Outlook application to the supported one, then Copilot functionality will appear in your app. So now when we are ready, Copilot is working in our environment, let's switch to Outlook and let's see how an AI assistant could help us to do things faster. So let's move to the Outlook application and see how Copilot could help you in the daily work. And we will start from my favorite functionality of Copilot, so summarizing the information that you gathered to speed up your analyzing process. So we have the email that we receive about assessment of our Microsoft 365 environment and what happened there, what are the results. So we have this functionality of summarizing the content of this email. Moreover, if the chain of the communication is longer, this button, this Copilot functionality will allow you to get the summary of what is happening in this email chain. And in the moment you can get the summary of the communication that is prepared, some statistic data that is included into the content of the email is bring up to you for top of the communication that you don't need to drill down across the email, across the informations that are stored there. Especially if you imagine that you're receiving the huge email storm that started somewhere in your organization and you know you have 100 emails that you want to catch up, this is life-saving functionality. Another useful scenario for the copilot in the Outlook is of course replying to the emails. So we have this assessment that we want to share with our adoption team or administration team and check with them what we should do next. We can ask our copilot to prepare that emails for us. This will speed up a little our process. And there is one more functionality worth to be recognized. You can configure how that kind of communication should look like. Should it be direct, neutral, casual or formal? Let's go with casual, let's go with the short form. And you can also expect that this feature, so let's say tuning up what kind of the feedback should be generated by Copilot will land also with the other Copilot applications. So let's ask our Copilot to create the email for our admins to review the assessment results and also start to implement the changes. 
and soon you get the result. So quite straightforward email that we can deliver very quickly, but let's change it a little. So let's tune up our email content. I really like to that kind of message to be shorter. Let's add there some emote icons, which I love. And let's split this wall of text to more lines. And if you will not like the results, you can also ask Copilot to regenerate it. Oh, this is something that I like the most. Too many emote icons are not always the best choice. And you can see what kind of possible solutions Copilot prepare for you. So let's select the last one. We can keep it and immediately we create the image that could be useful. Of course, we're using very simple scenario, but you can imagine for the much longer, much complex image, this could be a really time-saving solution for you. Another functionality worth to consider when you're working with Copilot is coaching. So you can route the email by yourself and ask Copilot for some suggestions how you can improve it. This could be extremely useful, especially if you're writing the emails in not your first language. Having somebody that will take care of the wording and phrasing of the communication could be very helpful. So let's prepare the email and let's see how the coaching of Copilot will help us in the Outlook. So let's imagine we prepare the email to our customer about possible challenges connected with generative AI and the fact there's no free version of it. You can pay by your data or you can pay by your credit card. So let's see how Copilot could help us to improve the content of our email. So after the moment, you get the list of possible suggestions how you can improve the email that you created, how you can change that kind of statement with something maybe more formal or something that will fit in to the more business discussion. And you can also see suggestion about the perspective to do not be too pushy, to do not be too self-oriented in that kind of email. And again, you get some kind of recommendation how you can improve the content of your email. And another recommendation is about to add more details to make that kind of communication more clear to the reader. Moreover, if you will regenerate the suggestions, you can see that there is also some similar feedback, but maybe in a little different perspective. So you can see this is really great functionality that could help you to improve your emails, but not change it automatically. You get some kind of suggestions how you can do the better job. And moreover, you need to remember that Copilot will learn how you're writing and improve the suggestions in time but you need to work with Copilot on a daily basis to get that functionality. So you can see Copilot in Outlook application working very well. This is really great tool that would help you to route the emails faster. Of course, it is not automated process that will replace you, but in some cases it could speed up your work. And I always recommend to start with it, just start to improve your work if you need to deliver something AI assistant copilot functionality could really speed up that process, but don't be worried, it will not take over your job. So if you have any questions, any additional comments, please use the comment section. I will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.